Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, where we talk about lifestyle and beauty starting from the inside out. So today I have a Safari haul and I'm super excited about it. It's not huge, it's not, you know, buying thousands of dollars of worth of Safari products. But it is a mini haul of some things that I definitely wanted to try and some things that I was like, hmm, I wonder how this smells or I wonder how this works and I just wanted to try it. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Let's get into the haul. So this is actually a powder. It's called the Power Bronzer by Danessa Myricks Beauty. If you know me, you know that I love Danessa Myricks. I'm actually wearing some of her color fix today on my eyes and I'll leave all the info down below but this is actually a new um, bronzer I'm gonna open it up as well um, right now I use the Morphe dimension stick but I'm like eh, I could try something different and I could definitely try something black owned <laughs> so I was like okay let me see how the Danessa Myricks products are doing in like you know the bronzer world so let me try to open this so this product definitely has a mirror so I love that this is actually more so of like a cream bronzer which I like is similar to the Morphe dimension stick um, I've been using a lot of cream products like as far as bronzers or contour products so I just can't wait to see how this works but I am going to swatch this Ooh, it looks deeper than what it is like I don't know if you guys see that definitely got a little deeper when I swatched it so for me even though it does say bronzer it's deep I'm gonna get a little closer this is a deep shade so for me this is not like a bronzer shade I would see this more as like a contour um I'll do another video you know doing it actually trying it on my skin so you guys can see but this will definitely be a contour which is no problem we'll see how it works all right so the next product is actually going to be a perfume if you guys watch too much mouth she is another like lifestyle i would say beauty blogger she does like fashion hauls and stuff like that she definitely made me want to try this um it's funny because the brand of this fragrance is replica and i usually don't shop a lot of their fragrances because i'm like oh this smells like a grown man and i'm not trying to you know walk out and just be smelling like a grown man like so basically she was like you know this perfume is so good it smells so it smells amazing so i was like okay let me try this this is actually called um by the fireplace and uh, i don't even know if i can uh, how i can explain this to you guys it kind of gives me like a warm uh, sweet fall scent but it can also be like worn at night i don't know i love this you guys should go and smell it before you buy it but i was like hmm this is actually great i was gonna go and buy the chloe perfume that is like my signature my all-time favorite perfume and i was like you know what let me get out of the box and stop buying the same thing so this one um this fragrance by the fireplace is something different um like i said it smells like chestnut and wood but like it sounds like it will be for men but it actually has like a girly sweet type of scent i hope y'all are catching my drift with this because i'm like i totally don't know how to explain fragrances but i would say definitely go and try it at safari okay so the next thing i got was this buxom um plumping lip polish i didn't really mean to buy i didn't mean to buy the lip polish so i actually ordered this in the lip gloss but i don't want to wait you know to film this haul because it's essentially going to be the same thing um but just deeper in color so i'll swatch it for you guys but um it's just a basic like pink everyday gloss and I actually got this idea from Octavia B. She is another YouTuber who I watch, love her style, love her beauty and I was like oh this is like a good everyday um, gloss. So I'm going to come closer so you guys can see that it's like a nice mauve pink gloss and this will be good for like you know every single day definitely excited to try this so the next thing i got was um another color fix product by danessa myrick so i'm going to show you guys my color fix collection 
this is my color fix collection you can tell i really do love the color fix like i said i'm using two of them on my lid today i don't know i feel like there it's like a mixed review on these products because when she formulated a lot of her products like she did it for makeup artists not like the everyday girl who wears makeup but it's tricky at first to work with these but then once you get down with like the formula and you practice like you're like oh okay i can work with this and that's how i feel about these things um so i got a color fix let me see if i can open this my nails that's the thing. These are my real nails, but wrapped with acrylic. But I'm like, I'm, I might have to cut them because life is getting too hard with these nails. So I finally got this thing open. But I got a color fix shadow in the shade Chocolate. And it looks like this. And I was like, I can really utilize this to do any type of look. Like one thing about the color fix um, shadows with Danessa Myricks. You can put them like on a palette and start mixing them and creating new colors. So I was like, if I have like a primary red and this like chocolate shade, it's like kind of like a warm brown. I can make a bomb burgundy shadow that actually is pigmented that shows up on, you know, my skin tone on dark skin. So I got this shade once again. I am. Let me swatch it for you guys. I still got this gloss on here. I forgot to take it off. okay so this is how it looks it kind of looks burgundy in a way too i think that this is going to be perfect as like a lippy as an eyeshadow when it comes down to fall so all right so the next thing i got was actually a re-up of this airbrush flawless spray by charlotte tillsbury i feel like this setting spray is amazing as far as um it's amazing however i think that if you have dry skin you're going to have to do a lot of skin prep ahead of your makeup for hydration purposes because I know when I go to work I only wear makeup like on the top part of my face and on the bottom it's pretty bare like no makeup at all and I remember spraying this one day and I'm like why does this feel like very um like it sucked the hydration out of my skin so I would say if you do have dry skin you're gonna have to do a lot of skin prep like as far as like your moisturizer making sure that you are hydrating your skin before using this setting spray like you cannot skip the moisturizer girl um but yeah I don't want to wait until I get that buxom lip gloss and this but definitely re-upped on this as well Okay, so lastly, I got this Tatcha skincare set. You guys know that Tatcha, I feel like they kill it when it comes to primers and they kill it when it comes to skincare. So I've been hearing a lot about this um, dewy skin cream. I'm like, oh, it sounds hydrating. It sounds, you know, Tatcha, anything that they do is honestly very luxurious. So I was like, okay, let me try this. Um, so basically it comes with, oh, this seems like it's a pretty good size. This whole set was $55, by the way, and I'll leave prices on the screen because I was like, Imari, you have not been putting prices for anything that you mentioned. Um, but basically, this is the rice wash. Of course, it came with the dewy skin cream. I wish that this was a little bit bigger instead of the wash. And then also um, the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Um, the lady, this lady in Sephora, basically, she was like, oh, it's so good. Like, you should get um, the whole set because I was honestly just looking for the moisturizer. Um, so I'm kind of upset that this is so small because I, the purpose of buying it was to try the moisturizer. But whatever, I'm going to try the whole set. And like I said, I'm going to update. I'm going to try on, do skincare and stuff like that in future videos. So this will definitely come up soon. All right, y'all, so that was it for this haul. It was super short, super mini, um, but I will update you guys about these products in another video. If you did shop the sale, I want to know what you bought and why and what do you recommend, so definitely leave it down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.